In this clip, I'm going to demonstrate how to bulk upload questions, quiz questions into Blackboard. What we need is a file in which you have your questions. That could be a Word file or a LaTeX file, as I will demonstrate uh, in this case. Could also be an Excel file. You'll see that in a moment. And then we will upload these questions onto Blackboard. Especially if you already have questions in not, but not in Blackboard, but want to import them into Blackboard, this process will be much quicker than going through the um, editing tool in Blackboard itself. But to start off, off with, and to set the scene, I'm going to go to Blackboard and show you how you would normally enter a question in Blackboard. Here is a Blackboard space of mine, and I went to. Uh, in course tools, the so test surveys and pools. This bulk upload couldn't work for anything, test surveys and pools. I'm gonna demonstrate it with tests. And I'm gonna build a new test and I shall just call that import. So far there are no questions. So what you would do normally is to go to create questions, look for your question type, say multiple choice and just enter the information you have here. My computer is, and then however many answers you have, one of your answers could have a correct question, a uh, correct answer, uh, tag, uh, slow, fast, old, or, Brilliant. And you would just submit this question. And there is a question. OK, so now let me show you how to bulk upload questions. What we will use is this little option here, upload questions. But you need to know in what format you have to present the questions to Blackboard in order to do this effectively. So what I'm showing you is how to import questions from LaTeX. I, I use a lot of formulas. I edit lots of exams in LaTeX. I'm using an editor which is called Tech Studio, but I'll show you that you can also use other editors and for instance, Word or Excel to import the questions. It's just editor in which I am editing my questions. So here I am just picking out a couple of questions. Let's take these. I'll just copy these into a new into a new document. So this is LaTeX. And the good thing is that Blackboard understands LaTeX. So fundamentally, we don't have to change the formula. But there are slight changes we will have to consider. There are two questions. And I already tell you, one will not work, and the other will. Because that process, at least as far as I've experienced it, does have limitations. What we need is the following. We need questions. We need to present questions to Blackboard in this following format. The question type, for instance, is multiple choice question, then a tab, then the question text, then a tab, and then answer one, and then a tab to indicate whether that's correct or incorrect. Let's say it's incorrect, and another tab to answer two, and let's say that is the correct question. Another tab, we write uh, correct, then a tab, and answer three, and this would be incorrect again. It would be incorrect again. And let's keep it with three answers. Well, actually, let's import this question as well. So we need to present the other questions in the same uh, manner. So we'll start out with MC then a tab, and then the question. What we will now do is convert the other two questions into exactly the same format. The first important thing is each question has to be on one line. So I have to remove all the line play breaks in the question. So you can see that here. So that was the question. Now I'll start with the solutions. I'll have to separate them by a tab and then immediately after each answer I say whether it's incorrect or correct. So the first one here is incorrect. Next answer, 
so that is also incorrect then tab next answer incorrect tab next answer tab this one is correct tab next answer tab this is incorrect so this question is now all in one line you can see that in, on the left hand side the line numbering all that feedback cannot be imported so let's go to the next question question type tab question text again now all has to be in line so that equation I'll put that as an inline equation and so we have all the question text uh, it's in two lines I have to remove the line break so it's now in one line now we move on to the first answer so tap first answer tap this is correct then a tab next answer tap this is incorrect tap next answer tap this is incorrect tap next answer tap this is incorrect tap last answer tap this is incorrect so here is that was the third line and let's just create a, a fourth question just a very simple just text question for those of you who don't do any formula life it's much easier just mc question type a question my car is and then answers red which in my case is incorrect answer blue which in this case is correct and uh, yellow which is incorrect and just one more white which is also in incorrect so we've basically finished we are ready to upload but let me just say one more thing you can see here perhaps that you can actually see all the tabs so I can differentiate between whether I see uh, spaces or tabs and that's very important because we need to separate question text and answers and uh, correctness indicator by tabs so in this particular case I in text studio I had to set uh, the option in the advanced editor option I had to say show white space okay so it's important or very helpful if you do this so let me now save this file and I'll uh, save it as test import and it's important it's saved as a .txt file okay so test import um, I'm overwriting already an existing file um, which has exactly that name so you can make sure you it gets the txt uh, extension so test import.txt before I can now go to blackboard and can import this file and we're, we're, we're hoping to import four questions here we need to recognize one thing in LaTeX if you use LaTeX formula inline formulas are separated by these dollar line dollar signs in blackboard instead of a single dollar sign we need to use a double dollar sign so what we're going to do here is we will just go and uh, search for all the dollar signs and replace them with a double dollar sign so this is all a little bit small on the screen here I apologize for this so find single dollar signs replace with double so dollar signs um, that's what we are going to uh, to do here and we replace all okay so 32 occurrences so we save that and now we are in a position to go over to blackboard and import these questions so here we are in the test again this is the question which we created manually now we upload questions you indicate what points value you want your questions to have and browse to the file which we just created and submit so you can see we now have five questions uh, 14 points that's because I uh, the first question we created had one point let me change that so questions two three four and five are the questions which you just created the first one very simple here the last one uh, was the car questions and then we have these two questions and you can see there's still some funny uh, symbols the double dollar signs we really we wanted to see equations and one thing I've discovered here is that actually you don't have to do really anything but to go into the question 
and pretend you edit something, or even edit something, you could give the question a name, say question two, and submit, you leave everything else unchanged. And what you can now see is that we have this question here, and you can see that we have created little formula. Now that didn't work yet in the question part, and that is because I don't think Blackboard recognizes the equation array um, command from LaTeX. It just recognizes inline equations, or at least I haven't figured out how to do it. So if you have more complicated constructs, you may have to do some post editing here. Let's go to the next question, which is of a simpler structure. It just has an inline formula. So here, all you've got to do is you go in, add, add a name, and submit. And now we scroll down to the question, and you can see the question has fully rendered, including the formula in the question. This fifth question didn't have any formula, so we didn't even have to go in to create that question. So the way I imported the questions here was via that LaTeX editor. I want to show you that you can do the same via Word. In fact, I have a file prepared here previously. And all I want to, I'm not going to go through the process, all I want to, to show you, it doesn't have, it had, has only two of the four questions. I could actually just copy all of these. I could go in here and copy that here. So what you see here is just that copy text. You all you can also see these tab indicators, and that's very important because you need tabs, not just spaces. In order to see them in Word, you know, need to go to File, Options, and Display, and here. You see I have tab characters ticked. That isn't the default option. You may find that unticked, and therefore you want to tick it so you, that you can see them. Now, importantly, you can't save that as a Word file, because the Word file has all sorts of other information. When you save that, you have to save that as, let me go into that folder, a plain text file. And again, I call it here test import Word. and you again want to perhaps make sure it gets the DXT extension. Right? And you save it like that. Uh, you can use the defaults, at least the defaults I found on my computer. And now you can go back to Blackboard and import these questions in the same manner using the upload questions. I'm not going to go this uh, go through this. You'll get exactly the same result. You can also create an Excel file with exactly the same type of information. So here's one I prepared earlier. So you can see in the columns, you have in the first column, we don't can't have any titles. In the first column, you have the question type, then the question text, then the first answer, an indication of whether the answer is correct, second answer, again, whether it is correct, and so forth. And again, it's important how you save this file need to save it as a text file. So you go to Save As. And you choose the safest type text. Here I use MS-DOS. Um, I guess there may be in a uh, Mac version as well. Should hopefully work. Test import Excel here. And again, give it a TXT extension. And I replace that here. And now you could again go to Blackboard and import these with upload questions. It's exactly, I would just recreate the same questions, therefore I don't do it. So let me conclude this video with telling you what this process cannot do. You, you've seen that all we can do is import the question text answers and whether they are correct. In Blackboard, you also have feedback options. You will have to post edit these in Blackboard. You have to add feedback uh, in afterwards. Also, if in your questions or your answers you have images, 
you can't import them through that process. You basically have to put yourself a reminder and say, okay, for this question, I have to go back into Blackboard and add an image. Also, you've seen if you're using complicated uh, formula structures like equation arrays, the process may not be so straightforward and you may have to go into Blackboard and then recreate the equation array in there. But simple inline formula are really no problem, just remembering to use the double formula and the double dollar sign for LaTeX formula. I hope that was helpful. Enjoy your preparation for the next academic year.